What's up, guys? We got the mid-season update coming out for Apex Legends, and this is going to be everything that you guys need to know about the patch notes. The Double Down Collection event will feature 24 unique cosmetics, but the theme for this one is pretty insane. The legendary skins of some of our favorite legends cosplaying as other legends from the game. Doesn't Revenant look cute with his cat ears? There's also matching weapon skins to go with each legend skin in the event, and if you unlock all of the items, you'll be receiving the Lifeline Prestige skin. It comes with a legendary finisher, Usually these prestige skins come with a dive trail as well, but there's no mention about it for this one, so I'm not sure if we're even going to have one. Hey guys, just a quick heads up for anybody who is actually planning to purchase the collection event. The cheapest way to do it is to use the EA Premium subscription for $5. Get that, that gives you a 10% discount on any in-game purchases that you make. So then you'll purchase coins by the two large bundles that come with packs. Before you open up any of your packs, you're going to want to make sure that you use as many crafting materials as you can to unlock all the epics after you do that open up your packs you should be pretty close to unlocking the event if you had a lot of crafting if not you'll have to buy some more coins but you'll still get a discount okay on to the patch notes the care package now has a chance to drop purple light mags gold weapon rotation is nemesis triple take pk prowler and the longbow in rings are getting balanced just a little bit and now have a 25 percent chance to end in each quadrant of the map i'm not really sure why it wasn't like this before but it is now Apparently survival items weren't spawning in low tier loot zones previously, but now they will. Okay, now we're gonna get into the weapon changes. Most of them are pretty solid, except there is one weird change that they made to one of the weapons, but we'll get to that in a minute. The G7 is getting buffed. It's having its damage and fire rate increase. The Havoc is getting nerfed. Damage is staying the same, but they're reducing the amount of ammo in all levels of the mags. The R99 and the Longbow are both getting a buff. The Longbow is having its headshot multiplier increased, and the R99 is going to have the hip fire randomness reduced. The Rampage is going to have less vertical recoil when you're ADSing. This next change is kind of weird, but the Sniper Digital Threat is no longer going to see through smoke. So it'll still highlight players, but it basically doesn't do anything now okay next up we've got legend changes but if you guys have watched the video this far do me a favor and consider liking the video down below maybe subscribing to the channel for future apex videos okay for alter the crypto emp will now affect players who are phasing using the void passage i guess they didn't like that combo that some players were using and they're taking it out bangalore is getting nerfed again respawn why please stop nerfing bangalore please Players inside of Bangalore Smoke will now be highlighted to all other players inside the smoke. The highlight isn't visible from outside of the smoke. Bloodhound is also getting nerfed. Beast of the Hunt will no longer see through smoke. For Bloodhound's level 2 perk, Raven's Blessing, the ult charge is changed to 20% from 25. For level 3, Bloodhound's perks are being changed completely. The first one is Sighthound, reduced tactical cooldown by 50% while ulting. And the other is Flock, removing the enemy range requirement for White Raven spawns. Pathfinder and Revenant are both getting a slight buff to their level 3 perks. Their tacticals will now reset on both Nox and Nox they assisted as long as it's within 3 seconds. Next up we've got map changes. For pubs, we'll have Broken Moon, King's Canyon, and Olympus. For ranked, the maps are Broken Moon, Olympus, and World's Edge. Solos is being replaced with quads, 15 teams of four, and solos will be an LTM from July 9th to July 22nd. There are some changes to ranked as well. Lowered the injury cost for everything above bronze. You get placement points for 14th and 15th place now. Kill points have been tuned just slightly. We've also got some various bug fixes. Feel free to pause the video right here for bug fixes and here for legend fixes. Overall, it seems like a pretty solid update, minus the Bangalore and Bloodhound nerfs, but let me know what you guys think of the update, and let me know if you guys are going to be picking up anything from the collection event. But that's it for today's video. Be sure to like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one.